Goldsmith, the 2020 Marconi Fellow, and I'm delighted to be here to congratulate and recognize Yasemin Gassampour as our newest Marconi Young Scholar. Uh, the Young Scholar Award recognizes great innovation in the fields of interest to the Marconi Society, and for Yasemin in particular, it speaks to her, her innovation in bringing high-speed terahertz networks to consumers. Congratulations, Yasemin. Can you tell us what your work is focused on? Thanks so much, Andrea. It's my great honor to receive the Marconi Young Scholar Award and to join the Marconi Society. I work on wireless networking and sensing systems in emerging millimeter wave and terahertz spectrum. We have a huge amount of available bandwidth in this frequency regime that can potentially offer ultra fast and ultra low latency communication needs. However, terahertz waves propagate very differently and giving us many new challenges in design and deployment. Take the simple example of wireless link establishment. In today's wireless networks, links are established by omnidirectional transmission of certain messages or beacons. But at such higher frequency, we have extremely higher energy loss that requires the use of directional narrow beams instead of omnidirectional transmissions. Now, how would devices, let's say a router and a cell phone, find each other in order to point their beam at one another? Also in a mobile network, devices need to continuously align their directional beam to stay connected as they are moving. And this is very challenging to do in such high frequency regime. Yes, we've spent decades trying to get our wireless de uh, devices to work at lower frequencies and now you're pioneering a whole new frontier. Can you tell us how are you gonna solve that challenging problem? Well, I tackle these challenges by integrating sensing with communication. The core idea is very simple. If these devices were able to see the environment around them, including other wireless devices, then they could easily find each other, point their beam at each other, efficiently adapt their beams as they're moving and so on. So in my research, I enable such sensing capability at wireless nodes by exploiting the large available spectrum that we have flexibly, by understanding how these waves propagate and interact with different objects in the wireless medium, and also by designing and implementing novel node architectures, antenna structures that benefit joint communication and sensing. How do you envision wireless networks evolving over the next five to 10 years to support those and other exciting applications? Mm -hmm. Well, I guess the uh, nice and unique feature about 5G and future wireless would be that they're not going to support only high data communication, but also they're going to accommodate greater diversity in use cases. For example, if we think about high quality video streaming or virtual reality, these applications demand very high data rate and low latency communication links. But on the other side, IoT applications, these are low data rate, extremely energy starved devices. So the 5G that I envision is going to empower these two very different set of use cases. Also, I believe that in future, we will take wireless beyond uh, communication means, but also introducing functionalities like sensing, power harvesting into the system. And this can create a new paradigm, a new wireless ecosystem, which can actually impact many industries from transportation, healthcare, agriculture, and more. Thanks so much, Yasaman. It's delightful for me to see such a, a brilliant young innovator who's in the field of wireless with a great vision for its future. Um, I'm very optimistic about the kinds of technologies that you will develop. And I want to congratulate you again as the winner of the Marconi Young Scholar Award. Thank you very much for this conversation. Thank you so much, Andrea.